Right now I'm in the YouTube video editor. In your account you may see this button here, you can access it, or simply go to youtube.com slash editor. You'll see, once you get here, all of your videos uh, right here in this uh, box. So what this is used for is to combine parts of your videos into a new project or new video um, or to take parts from one video uh, to create a better one. So right now that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to take this video here and um, you'll see it's one minute and 45 seconds right now. I'm going to make it a bit more interesting by cutting it down in size. Uh, and therefore in length. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the plus button in the upper right corner. What that does is it adds the, that entire video, the 1 minute 45 seconds of the video, to my timeline down here. If I hit the wrong video and I want to remove it, I can just hit the X there and voila, it has now been removed from the timeline. So the idea is, um, and you can also drag these items down, the idea is that you can add videos to a timeline down here and uh, they will just be connected one after another. Um, you can make a very long video this way. However, what we would like to use this for um, is to improve the quality of your videos. Um, it's most likely that the video you shot, so in this case um, this is a dog video, and there's two parts of this video that I want to use. There's the part where the dog is jumping, and then a little bit farther in we see that the dog, when it's wearing the sweater, uh, it doesn't seem to like treats, so it doesn't jump. So imagine this is an interview with someone or you're describing a scene um, local to, to where you are. Um, it's likely you're not going to get the entire story in one shot. So just like with the dog here, I need to take two parts of this video to really turn it into something that people want to watch. So how do we do that? First thing I'm going to do is trim the video down so that it contains only one of those clips. So the first part of the video, and you can see I'm dragging this handle here. I'm going to drag it. I'm trimming, actually. I'm, I'm removing the front of the video, the first part of the video, by dragging it to the right. Um, when I did that, it removed the part of the video I just clicked in the gray area by the way and that sort of takes me out of the um, editing mode here when I click on a clip it allows me to adjust it with the handles when I click here in the gray area um, I can do other things like play the entire video so if we play it now you'll see it starts just before the dog is jumping so that's what I want now what I need to do is trim the end of the video so I'm going to use this handle here and I'm going to drag it so that the video is now very short um, it's it's getting hard to do this isn't it because there's almost no room to move so that's why I'm going to suggest we zoom in so down here in the bottom right corner is the zoom control. I can drag it and now that video clip that's um, as you can see it's 16 seconds. When I click on this video clip I have a bit more control now over my dragging. And so I'm going to watch for that part of the video when the dog has stopped jumping. So that's right about there. So I've sort of isolated 10 seconds now of the video that I like. I'm now going to 
drag this video, the same one from my, my, pro, my list of videos, and tack it on to the end. Now we're zoomed in here pretty far, and when you're zoomed in, you have the option of scrolling. This helps you to navigate um, all of your timeline, but we're zoomed in really far, so I'm going to zoom back out so you can get a better picture of what's going on here. There are two clips on the timeline. There's the 10 second one, and now I've just added the entire 1 minute 45 version of the dog video. But what I want to do now is trim this one. Again, I'm gonna, I, I just clicked on this clip. I'm going to drag the uh, handle here on the left, and I'm going to show what happens when the dog is wearing the fleece sweater. It does not want to have any treats and it doesn't want to jump. So I'm just trimming. If I want to be extra accurate about the trimming that I'm doing, I, I would recommend zooming in. So I just sort of did an estimate on the trimming that I did. I'm going to zoom in a bit farther than last time. And you can see that it's two seconds, three seconds, four seconds into the video um, according to these time markers here. So what I can do now is just click on that timeline to select a part of the video that I want to start playing. Notice that I have not selected a video. We, um, I'm going to click in the gray area here to remove the handles. When the handles are not displayed, that enables you to jump around um, the timeline. So here I'm going to take it back just before the cut between the two clips. So around eight seconds. And you can also do that up here in this window. That, that little scrubber icon um, moves as you drag either one of them. So here I'm going to hit play and we'll see what transition we have right now between the two clips. So I think right about there, I just paused it. I think right about there is where I want the video to end. So right around the 17 or 18 second mark. I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to now drag, I'm going to now click on this um, clip to highlight it and activate the handles. And now I'm going to drag this to um, the 18 second mark down here, or I hit the 19 second mark. That's good enough. So now if I click in the gray area and I watch the video in its entirety, We have the two clips, uh, one after the other. What else can you do with the video editor, though? We are now in this area here browsing your videos, but there's other things that you can do. If you want to add music, you can search through the music that YouTube provides. And if you find one that you like, you can drag it down here to the audio part. The music is very loud right now compared to the audio from my clip. So what I want to do is take the volume of the music and bring it down very low. So what did that do? So you can hear the music and you can also hear the dog, um, but the dog actually wasn't very loud, so I take the music even down another level there. Um, I can also add a transition. So if I click here on this icon, um, the crossfade is a, is a good one to use. So what I'll do is I drag that over the transition point between the two clips. 
And so it added it there. And it, it, it set it at two seconds of transition. So if I take the handle, reduce that down to, let's say, one second of transition, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to click in the gray area. And I want to start the video about here, right before the um, transition. Did you see that crossfade? So it blended the two. It added a, a transition. So that's completely optional. More importantly is probably titling. So here if you click on the letter A, you have the choice of two kinds of titles. So the centered title I'm going to drag to the beginning of my video. You can see I'm, I'm dragging it so that the highlighted purple bar is sort of telling me that this is going to get dropped right before the dog video really starts. So I can add the text here and just hit save. So now my video has some text before the dog even comes into, into the show. So the, sh the video was just extended a couple seconds because of that. You know what? I'm not going to use that. I would like to X that out, but I am going to use the center title over top of the first part of my dog video, and it, it will look like that. So here we go. I'm going to say funny dog. And I'm going to hit save. I'm actually not a huge fan of that music. Um, I actually want to remove that now. I can do that down here in the, quarter, the corner and hit the X. Maybe at the end I want, uh, or towards the end, maybe I want the um, name of the dog on the screen. So if I drag him down here and create a banner, and I can change the font size maybe to medium, oops, or not, but I'll just hit save and you get the idea. So here's our video, funny dog, centered. It'll fade to the next part. And then that's how the video ends. So I would recommend playing around with this and see if you can come up with a video that meets your needs. And when you're done, you just title it up here. and hit publish. YouTube will take some time to process what you've asked it to do and then it'll be added to your list of videos uh, immediately. I would recommend however you go to settings right here while it's processing and that's where you can set the video to unlisted and hit save. And that's it.